Дорогі українці, українки, сьогодні російські окупанти... Fellow Ukrainians, today Russian invaders brutally attacked Kherson region. They are dead and wounded. At 4 a.m. the village of Velotenske was shelled. A house caught fire. A guy was wounded. He has severe burns. He is now in an intensive care unit. 9 a.m. the occupiers attacked the village of Shirokabauka. They used artillery. Five people were killed. Among them was a baby girl, 22 days old. Her brother, who was only 12 years old, was taken to the hospital. Unfortunately, they could not save him. He died from severe wounds. The children's mother, her name was Oessa, she was only 39 years old, died. My condolences. Around the same time, the village of Stanislav was shelled. Two people were wounded, two were killed. The men, the men were 71 years old and 57 years old. In total, from the beginning of this day until 6 p.m., there have been already 17 reports of shelling from Kherson region alone. Other regions include Mykolaiv, Zaporizhia, Donbass, Kharkiv, the border areas with Russia in the northeast. Everywhere our warriors retaliate against the occupiers' terror. There is not a single day when Russian evil does not get our completely fair retaliation. Every occupier destroyed, every piece of Russian equipment burned, fire instead of their headquarters and warehouses, the very eloquent smoke on Kerch Bridge and more. All this proves that we will not leave any of Russia's crimes unanswered. And each of our warriors who gives Ukraine results on the front line, along the entire front line from Kharkiv to Kherson, each of our warriors has the opportunity to bring justice to Ukraine. Everyone who helps our warriors. Now there are only two personal lines of behavior. Either you fight for Ukraine, or you help fight and save lives. There is much to thank the 95th Separate Airborne Assault Brigade for their resilience and results in the battles in the Kupiansk sector. Well done, warriors. Powerful. The 1st Battalion of the 67th Separate Mechanized Brigade, also in the Kupiansk sector, acted heroically and courageously. Thank you. Paratroopers of our glorious 79s in the Marinka sector. Thank you, warriors. Melitopol and Berdyansk direction. I thank every warrior who gives Ukraine the necessary results. Bakhmut direction. Well done, guys. Every time we have something to thank our warriors for, Ukraine becomes closer to justice, closer to victory, and Russian murderers on our land become closer to destruction. This is the only way we can create the conditions for the whole of Ukraine to become free and safe again. Russian terrorists must feel only one thing. They will be destroyed. And one more thing, behind every report of shedding and injuries of our people, there are stories of heroism of our Ukrainian doctors and nurses working in the frontline areas. I am grateful to all our medical workers who, despite everything, save lives. I would like to recognize those who have shown themselves the most in helping our people in Kherson region. Doctors Vasil Chastikov, Natalia Kunev, Artur Rehimov, Ivan Osokalo. This is a team from the Kherson Regional Clinical Hospital. Nurses Irina Tatarenko, Alena Bondar, Larisa Shmihol. Medics from the ambulance teams who helped the wounded in the villages of Stanislav, Kamishani, and Shorokabauka. Natalia Pupenko, Ivona Shilo, Victoria Hanja, Marina Shramkova, Svetlana Stolarova. Kherson's ambulance, emergency medicine doctor Pavlo Dzuba and feldsher Vitaly Brukov. Boosts sent to Kherson region from Sumy for reinforcement. Feldshers Natalia Adrianova and Vitaly Rudakov. Kherson City Hospital, surgeons Serhii Bondaruk, Serhii Tonkastov and Viktor Yakovenko. I thank you, each and every one of you, and all of your colleagues for every life saved. The Ukrainian people are extremely brave and courageous. We know that freedom is priceless, and we know how to defend it. We know how to protect life, and we have to remember that every day must bring results in the defense of Ukraine. Not a single day should be wasted. At the front, in the areas near the front, everywhere in the rear, and very importantly by every diplomatic mission of Ukraine. Weapons for our warriors, support for our state and legal responsibility for Russian terrorists. Ukraine will definitely prevail, but this will be our common result, 
all of those who are fighting and working for Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine.